Welcome back. A John Wick prequel series called The Continental, from the world of John Wick follows Winston as he takes over the Continental Hotel in New York, which begs the issue of who the prior manager was. The Ana de Armas film Ballerina will be released in 2024, and the Peacock 3 episode event is the beginning of a series of John Wick spin-offs. The show continues to expand the assassin universe of the films. The Continental concentrates mainly on Winston's connection to his brother Frankie, who steals a coin press from the Continental's vault and sets off a bloody chase. Winston is portrayed in the John Wick films as the proud manager of the Continental, yet when he first appears in the series, he doesn't seem to know anything about the hotel. In the first episode of The Continental, Night One, Brothers in Arms, Winston is a con man who lives in London and connives to scam affluent business people. However, Winston is abducted and sent to New York to meet with the manager after his estranged brother commits a Continental robbery. The Continental takes place 40 years before John Wick, and due in large part to the management who is somewhat lax with the hotel's policies, the setting is very different in the 1970s. Before Winston, Cormac managed the Continental for 40 years. Mel Gibson is a co-star in the cast of The Continental as Cormac, who served as the Continental's manager in the 1970s before Winston took over. The character is a very different manager than Winston and behaves much more aggressively and with less class than his successor. When Cormac is reminded of the Continental's most crucial regulation, that no business may be performed on the property, he appears to have forgotten it, he then mocks the rule. When one man in Cormac's workplace rejects his order to kill another person, Cormac persuades him that he wants to commit suicide. Since Cormac has been the hotel's manager since the 1930s, he has been in charge for 30 years. Cormac's age is unknown. Although Mel Gibson is 67 years old, if Cormac is the same age, he could have taken control of the hotel at about 27. Since Cormac took over as manager, he has also assisted in raising Winston and Frankie, especially even though Frankie now works for Cormac while Winston remains in London. When he wasn't his understanding with his other employees, the Continental management had a soft spot for Frankie and was tolerant of him. Up until Frankie stole the coin press, that is, Winston replacing Cormac in the Continental is made more tragic by John Wick films. The only person close to Cormac, who has managed the hotel for 40 years, is Karen, who also becomes into Winston's closest confidant. Cormac also reveals that he has no relatives. Winston's fate is significantly worsened by this revelation. In the John Wick films, Winston appears to be proud to manage the hotel, but the revelation shows that anyone who holds the position of hotel manager is doomed to lose their loved ones. As Frankie kills himself at the conclusion of the Continental Episode 1, Winston is already experiencing this before he assumes the manager's position. Winston will soon lose a number of friends and family members, Frankie being the first. Given their unexplored deeper relationship history and the passing of Frankie, Winston swears vengeance on Cormac. Regardless of all their differences, Winston ultimately turns into a more conformist and fragile version of Cormac than the original Cormac. In The Continental, from the world of John Wick, Winston is 30 years old, and when he first appears in John Wick, 2014, he has been running the hotel for roughly 40 years. Winston at that time had just Karen in his life, much like Cormac had no one else. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.